Hi everyone, it's Carolyn. And today, since it's a beautiful day outside, and it kind of feels like summer, at least summer's on the way, we are going to draw a baseball mitt and a baseball ball. I'm a big baseball fan, and you would think since I live in Michigan, I should be a Detroit Tigers fan, or even a um, Chicago Cubs fan, but I grew up in St. Louis, and I am a St. Louis Cardinals fan. So um, once a Cardinal fan, always a Cardinal fan. But um, So I hope I didn't lose any of my drawing partners here by saying that. But go Tigers, go Cubs, and definitely go Cardinals. So um, so grab your, your pencil, and here we go. And as always, I'm drawing with a marker so you can see my line. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a really wide, big U. So there we go. Takes up most of our page, doesn't it? So what we're going to do now is we're going to count our four fingers. And we don't really want to go farther than about right here. So I'm going to put a dot there to remind myself that I really can't go any farther than that. So we go one, two, three, four, and then we meet my dot, okay? And then we do another U, which comes down like this, comes back up, and then we get the thumb, like that. So these are our five fingers, our, our thumb, and then one, two, three, four fingers, okay? So then, before we go any farther down, we're going to make an X near right where we ended. So we're going to do two lines there and then two lines there. Right at the end of where we stopped making the finger. So, and then we're going to do the same on each one. Whoops, I went right through it. That's all right. You can either do it this way or that way. And then we go like that, and like that. So those are our stitches holding our fingers together. And then we want to make our fingers longer. So we want to go like that after you're finished with the stitches. Like that. My last name is Stitch, and we're always called the Stitches, so that's kind of fun. Okay, so now we're going to do the inside of this space right here is not empty. There's kind of like a net there. I'm sure there's a name for that, but it's, it, it's where you can catch the ball. So we're going to make an, a curved line right there and two curved lines right at the top. And then we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to make two curved lines farther down. There we go. And then on the top, because all of this is made out of leather, we are going to do kind of like a an end, kind of like a frilly thing right on top. I wouldn't say frilly on a baseball mitt, but just a finishing touch up there. And then we're going to draw the nut, which are just lines that go down like this. Kind of like a basket. I think that's what it's called. There you go. Okay. And then we want to make like like stitches again, all the way around, which is just a line like that. So that looks like at least it's it's stitched in right there. And then we're going to make another line that goes along the outside of this line. And then it comes together at the bottom. And that just shows a little depth on our, on our baseball mitt here. And then for just a little detail, we are going to put some stitch lines right there. Like it's the two pieces were stitched together. And then we're going to come over here too, 
And we're going to make this another line that kind of goes outside like that. So that looks like it's been, it's two or 3D. And then we're going to put some sewing line here. Now you see how I've kind of come around the bottom and I'm like that? That's kind of fun. Kind of makes it look like the stitch is going around. And then just like on this side, we're going to put two stitches along the bottom there. Okay. And then we're going to, like it's been worn, we're going to add some lines here to just show the, um, the bending of the mitt. Right. Just as if it fit, fit in your hand. So does anybody play baseball? I used to play softball. It's a lot of fun. I wasn't very good at it. So you're wondering, what am I doing with a cup? Well, we have our mitt, and now I want to draw a baseball next to my mitt. And so I'm finding a, I found one of my glasses, and you can find anything. Our paper is probably different sizes, so if a glass is too big, Maybe you want to find a spice top, but anything to help you make a circle. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that circle right there, that cup right there. I kind of overlapped the mitt, but that's all right. This just makes a perfect circle when we go all the way around. So we hold it tight and we go around. There we go. So there's our baseball. So her baseball just looks like a circle, but we want to make it look like a baseball. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a line that goes like this. It's curved. It goes from one end to the other end. And then we're going to make a line that goes the other way, curved, like that. So that kind of looks like a baseball. Also looks like a tennis ball. So to make it look like a baseball, you want to add the stitches. And the stitches are usually red. So if you want to do that with a red pen, you can do that. But it's like a V, drawing a V, and once you get the bottom of the V, you want to go back down the other side. So there's our baseball and our baseball mitt. And you can color it any way you want. The baseball is white with red um, stitches and usually this is brown but hey this is our art and you can make it any way you want if you've always wanted a purple or a blue baseball mitt then this is your time if you want to make it a background like a field or something like that you're welcome to do that too so have fun with this and um, I do have a baseball joke how do baseball players stay cool by sitting next to the fans. Waka, waka, waka. Ha, that's a good one. Anyway, have a great day. And I hope you're enjoying the drawing tutorials. If you are, then uh, go to my YouTube channel, Carolyn Stitch Studio, and subscribe to that. So thank you very much. Have a great day.